this morning, uh, I'm not going to so much as uh, teach, but maybe just preach. Uh, so I'm just going to talk to you uh, on the subject of the message of the cross. What I want to just bear on our hearts this morning is the importance of the message of the cross. The cross of Jesus Christ is so important to our life of faith. That's central to everything we do, everything we believe, and all of our Christian life should originate and should point back to the cross of Jesus Christ. All of the Old Testament saints lived in the shadow of the cross. And just to help you and me understand some of these things, I just want to recount some of those bits and pieces that the Old Testament saints had. In the book of Genesis, Jesus and the cross, he is the seed of the woman. He is the first clothing made of animal skin that came as a covering for man. He is the able sacrifice of the firstborn sheep. He is God's provision for Abraham's sacrifice. He is the Passover lamb. He is a rock from which water flowed. He is the offering in the Levitical sacrifices. He is the one in the day of atonement. He is the bronze serpent raised up in the wilderness. He is the one who hangs on a tree in Deuteronomy 21. In the book of Psalms, he is the Lord's anointed. He is the one whose garments were divided by lots. He is the one whose bones were not broken in Psalm 34. He is the one against whom fierce witnesses have risen in Psalm 35. He is the one who is betrayed by his own familiar friend in Psalm 41. They only had bits and pieces of the whole picture and all pointing to the cross. They never saw the full picture. Today, you and I can look back and say, wow, all of that makes sense. It is all fulfilled in the person of Jesus Christ. Amen. So I want to challenge you and me this morning to live in the fullness and the light of the cross. To live in the light of the cross because we have the full message. I just want to highlight some areas and this comes only as a reminder. Many of us are, are familiar with these truths. But I just want to remind us and, and, and renew our understanding of these truths. That these are all based on the finished work of Christ on the cross. Number one is the whole truth about us being forgiven. We are forgiven because of the cross of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ has cleansed us from all sin. Amen. What a privilege today for you and me to know that the sacrifice was made, the blood was shed, my sins are forgiven. You and I stand righteous and justified in the eyes of God. There is now no condemnation to any of us who are in Christ Jesus. And you and I can boldly come to the Father knowing that we are accepted in the Beloved. That we are righteous. We are chosen in Him. And we are holy and, and accepted in His eyes. There is no guilt, shame or condemnation that we need to walk under. Secondly, the power of the cross. We are redeemed. Redeemed. To be redeemed means God paid a price to purchase us. And he says, I bought you with a price. You are mine. You and I are God's purchased property, purchased possession. Everything about you belongs to God. Thirdly, we are healed and made whole through the cross. Our healing and our wholeness is based on the cross. The fourth thing that comes to us through the cross is the blessing of God. And that's why the Bible says that we have been blessed with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ and lastly victory a life of triumph an overcoming life is possible because of the cross of Jesus Christ so the challenge for you and me is this let us walk in the light of this message let us believe it let us live by it and let us share the message of the cross. Amen.